Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek NR. In today's episode, you're actually gonna, I'm gonna take the footage from my reaction to the first uh, Long Halloween trailer. I'm gonna splice that in here coming up. And then I also recorded a reaction and some thoughts on the second trailer for part two. Um, but before we get into those and those reactions, I wanna go a little bit over the news here, just in general about these two movies. Um, so I got the press releases here uh, that were sent to me an email now these are obviously a two-part movie the first one uh the long halloween part one which i'm i'm so excited for this like i i honestly i love this story so much i'm a big fan of tim sale that's why i have that painting right there that is actually from the set of the show heroes from season one that was used on set uh, and that was a gift from a really good friend of mine um who uh, was i guess had access to that set and worked on that set and Get gifted this to me when he found out what a big fan I was of Tim Sale and his work. And I've got to meet Tim numerous times and he's done sketches for me. Um, and he's just the coolest dude in the world. I'm a big, big fan and I love his artwork. Um, so, uh, so when I saw that they were interpreting it, I was hoping they would capture his art style, but that's very hard to do. And plus, I think they have this new archer looking style that they're doing with a lot of their animated movies to kind of keep them all in a similar universe. Um, so I'm okay with that. So they're following that method. That's fine because they got a great cast. They got uh, Tim Sheridan writing this. Um, Chris Palmer is directing it, who did Superman Man of Tomorrow, which I really, really liked. And uh, and also the JSA uh, World War II movie uh, that just came out recently. Um, I will be reviewing that in the uh, coming up. Uh, so I haven't watched it yet, but I will because I've, I've been on bed rest and I was going to watch it while on bed rest. But normally when I watch those animated movies, I like to take a little bit of notes so I can, uh, you know, so my reviews are a little cleaner, you know. Um, so uh, So I'll try to get that out to you guys very soon. But uh, the Batman Long Halloween Part 1, uh, it will have some cool special features on it. Like uh, they're going to do the DC Showcase's short films. Um, you know, they've been doing those with these new animated movies. And this one is going to be for The Losers, uh, which is great. That's a great comic book. They made a movie of it, a live action movie of it. And, uh, and you know, it's it's really cool setup. And so that will be a special feature on here. Um, the movie will come out, uh, it will be coming out June 22nd on digital and Blu-ray. So um, I guess typically what they do is they'll release a digital version first and then the Blu-ray. But at least uh, according to this press release anyway, it seems like June uh, 22nd is the day they, they both come out. Uh, so I will definitely go to my local you know, Target or wherever I got to go to buy this in physical form when it does come out. And it'll have some cool special features on it, like a sneak peek at Long Halloween Part 2. Uh, and then also from the DC vault, they throw in some older cartoon episodes from the Batman animated stuff. So they're going to have Christmas with the Joker and it's never too late as two bonus episodes that you can uh, watch on the Blu-ray and DVD of this. I think, I think this might be more for the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, special features for Blu-ray and digital. So, uh, so that's really cool. So I'm, I'm excited for this movie. And get this, we don't even have to wait that long for the second part because the second part comes out in uh, digital on July 27th. So just a month after, like four weeks-ish after part one comes out, you can watch the part two on digital on July 27th. Or if you want to wait till August 10th, you can get the physical copy. So I'll probably wait till August 10th. So my review of that will probably go up the, around that time. Um, and then my review of the first one will, will go up, obviously, on around June 22nd. Uh, so just a month apart, you know, um, roughly. And about six weeks apart if you're buying the physical ones. And there will be some special features on this Blu-ray as well, uh, including a short film about Blue Beetle. And then there's also an advanced look at the next DC animated movie, which is going to be Injustice, uh, based on the video game. And uh, and I, I, I can't talk too much about that, because uh, unfortunately, this is one of those situations where I know a little bit more um, than just the announcement of it. Uh, but uh, I have been waiting for this to be announced for some time. So that's very exciting. I'm, I'm very pumped to hear about an Injustice adaptation. Uh, and then there is going to be a DC Universe movies flashback uh, with Dark Knight Returns 2 and Hush. I don't know exactly what that means. I doubt those two movies are going to be included here, like in full. I doubt that's the case. So I don't know what flashback means. Maybe it's like a little sizzle reel of those two movies uh, just to get people to go out and buy them, which you should. I liked both of those movies. I know some people aren't a big fan of the Hush one, but I thought it was a great adaptation personally. Uh, and then also from the DC vault, you're going to get Two-Face, part one and two from the Batman animated series from the 90s, uh, which are great. So those two episodes are going to be included in this because obviously if you know Long Halloween, like I said, it's set in the year one universe and that will be about 
kind of the descent of Harvey Dent into Two Face. Uh, so I'm I'm so pumped. So without further ado, let's get to the trailer reactions. If you haven't seen my trailer reaction to the first uh, trailer, I'm gonna throw that up first, and then I'm gonna throw up the uh, I'm gonna splice in the reaction to the second trailer, which I did before filming this part. Uh, I'll throw that up now along with some of my thoughts on it, and then we'll come back here to wrap out the video. PG-13. I heard the second one's going to be rated R, which is crazy. I can't really be a lawyer and a criminal, can I? Ah, oh, Harvey Dent. I want to win, but do I want to win like this? Oh. Two lines here, so it's a coin flip. Oh, I like that. That's not in the comic. That's a great addition. Uh, that scene is very pivotal to uh, Johnny was to uh, uh, the bonding of, of Batman and out. Harvey Dent. There's only room for one homicidal maniac in this town. Joker! I think Troy Baker comes back as Joker. Trick or treat. Why are you running? You could use a little fun. I like that sound effect in the back of... Oh, that's cool. I thought you didn't hurt people! Wrong. Hero or villain? A DC Universe movie. You still haven't figured I'm out liking the animation. I like the new animation style. A killer who only works Calendar out. Man. Oh, that's cool. That's a shot from the comic. Lots of crazy uh, with the dead body. Ah, oh, Solomon Grundy. That's from issue two right there, I think. Oh, Gilda looks great. Oh, they did a good job here. Ooh. Offered, then we must endeavor to lift it up again. Oh man, I love that. It's a good Alfred line. Who is Holiday and who's next? Rated R. Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Here we go. Do you know what my people call this past year? The Long uh -oh. Halloween. Oh, Scarecrow. He looks awesome. The holiday killer's covering his tracks. The days are now. I made him cut a deal. You want Falcone, and I got plenty on him. Heads, I'll take it. Oh, oh Your the end is just again. And I'll do it, Harvey. Did he end up trading for it? Dang. Oh. That was a neat way to, to do that uh, sequence. Where'd you find them? You're not going to like it. Oh no. When you were coming Starting up, to piece it together. Thought to hire freaks. Mad Hatter, Poison no Ivy. It's hard to believe the man who stood on this roof and made that promise would cross the line. Oh man. To this party. That's cool. <laughs> Joker, Solomon Grundy, Catwoman, oh, all the acid. It never gets easy. I love Harvey Dent. It never gets easy seeing him get turned into face. That's cool. Oh, his daughter's there. The Carmine Falcone's daughter. Uh, what's her name? Is it Gigante? What is this? Judgment uh -oh. Day. Ah, uh, Harvey. So my thoughts on all that, I mean, that was really cool. I'm, I'm so excited for the second part. Uh, but seeing that se those sequences, seeing Grundy, uh, who I love, um, and seeing uh, all the villains. And, you know, when he says, uh, she says, you know, with your upbringing, I didn't think you would, you know, hire these freaks. It's because that's the whole thing about Gotham during this time period. This is set in the year one time period of Batman. That's what Jeff Loeb always said was that he was kind of you know, building off of what year one set up. Um, and then what they did with like uh, Catwoman, Win in Rome and things like that. And and those three short stories that they did, uh, you know, the the Haunted Nights or whatever um, that uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale did. They, they kind of were like, we want to build off because uh, those were like in the main continuity or kind of side drifting continuity. And this was them going, okay, if we're going to play in past continuity like year one, we want to really capture that era. And in that era, the mobsters were still in charge and people like Joker and, you know, and, uh, and Red Hood Gang and all that stuff and uh, Riddler and, and Two-Face and all these guys, they, you know, Harvey Dent was still Harvey Dent and the, the criminals still kind of ran Gotham and the freaks didn't uh, come in and take over yet, but they were starting to. And so that's what year, you know, the long Halloween is. It's over the course of the year where these other criminals that are like super criminals, super villains, they start popping up more and more. 
and they start weeding out, you know, the, the rick, because, you know, Poison Ivy, if she wants to rob a bank, she doesn't need a mob to help her. Um, you know, Penguin will take over a mob group and, and be the new head of them. And he tries to always go more legit, like with the Iceberg Lounge and stuff, and tries to look more like he's on the legit side, but he's definitely not, obviously. Um, then you got like Riddler, who, you know, these guys will sometimes hire goons, but they don't need guys like Carmine Falcone, you know, and uh, Tony Zuko. And like, they don't need people like this to work with they just they can do things their own joker certainly doesn't need anybody if he doesn't want it um other than you know henchmen from time to time or having harley later on so to me this that was neat that they captured that and he's like you know she said i didn't expect you to hire these freaks he's like yeah times are tough i gotta make tough decisions and i'm like yeah that's how desperate carmine falcone gets with this whole murderer that's you know going around gotham like this every month someone is dying on a uh, on a holiday so they dub them the holiday killer and a lot of the people that are dying are corrupt people and so it seems like there's someone who's like a batman who's going a step further and they're shooting people with those guns that have like the baby bottle nipples on the end of them at, to act as like a a cheap silencer to help dull the sound of the, the bang um and that's how the criminal's been getting away and that's when batman he's like uh you know gordon's like where did you find these guns and he's like you're not gonna like it and i don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't read long halloween but there's a lot of twists in that story. And just when you think, oh, I got the killer pegged, there's a couple other twists thrown in towards the end. So I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I love Jensen Eccles. I love the cast that they have for this movie. And I'm I'm very pumped that this is going to be just a blast. So when it comes out, I'll for sure, uh, you know, buy both of them and review them for you guys and compare them to the comic books. We'll definitely get a comic book video for a long Halloween up sometime around the release of these movies. So let me know your thoughts uh, about these two trailers. You know, if you've seen them yourself, I'll put links down below so you can watch them without me talking over them. And I will definitely, um, you know, do like a, a one through, you know, issue one through six or whatever review uh, of the comic book leading up to, you know, the first uh, animated movie. And then I'll do a, an episodes or issue seven through 13, uh, which is the last half of the story. We'll do that review leading up to the release of the second Blu-ray and DVD. And I'm so glad these are coming out so close together. I was expecting part two to not come out till close to Halloween, but it looks like they have a busy release schedule. They want to get Injustice out there, I'm sure, and they want to get other things out there. Uh, so I'm, I'm so pumped. I'm glad we have a lot of DC animated content. And like I said, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll get my JSA, uh, war, you know, World War II, or Justice Society. I guess it doesn't have the America in it like the comics. But Justice Society, World War II, I'll try to get that review up. And uh, if I haven't already put one up on this channel, I'll do a Superman Man of Tomorrow review. So that way we have all of the, you know, these current animated films as reviews on this channel. So I'll have those up to you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much. Let me know what you think of this video down below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. See you all in the future. Peace.